Xavier Hernandez, or commonly known as just Xavi, is one of the biggest legends of Barcelona. To go in normal time. Liverpool 3-0. Call it, take it quickly, Enrique! Yeah! Yeah! where he spent 17 seasons as a player, making over 700 appearances and taking over the club as manager when the team struggled in 2021. Despite his short build, Xavi is widely considered one of the greatest midfielders of all time. Little routines when they're under more pressure and their colleagues and they have been from Arsenal then. You can understand why though. Messi. As he was renowned for his passing, vision, ball retention and positioning. Xavi was awarded the World's Best Playmaker Award four times. You indeed, ladies and gents, please put your hands together for an extraordinary man, Xavi, and an even yeah. a more extraordinary man, Tony. Thank yeah. you very much indeed. All straight between 2008 and 2011. He was included in the FIFA FIFA Pro World Eleven on six occasions, 2008 to 2013, and the UEFA Team of the Year five times from 2008 to 2012. He was awarded the Prince of Asturias Award in 2012 and won 32 trophies in his career. Barcelona scored in the 27th minute. It was put in the clear by Xavi. Making him the second most decorated Spanish player in history behind former teammate Andres Iniesta. A small, complex, agile and technically skilled player with a slim physique and a low centre of gravity, these qualities compensated for his lack of pace or physicality. Xavi's signature moves while in possession meant he made a 360 degree turn, a fate known as La Pelopina, which allowed him to move away from the opponent, retain possession and give him space and time on the ball to think about his next pass. In his youth he also played as a centre-back before being shifted to a midfield role. While primarily a central midfielder with Barcelona, he often played in a more advanced midfield role with Spain. Although he was not known for his tackling ability or being productive in front of goal, Xavi's outstanding vision, precise passes and world-class ball control allowed him to create chances for teammates and dictate the flow of play in midfield. These qualities were demonstrated by his performance during Spain's 2010 World Cup victory, where he maintained a 91% pass rate throughout the tournament. Although he was primarily a creative player, he could also score goals himself in addition to assisting them. Named in the Ballon d'Or Dream Team, the greatest 11 of all time, Xavi's creativity, range of passes and unique skills have led many in the sport to consider him one of the best passing players and one of the best playmakers in history. From the X Man, only he can play these passes. Better than Superman with his vision, he sees through steel. In addition to his playing ability, Xavi was also praised for his leadership. He joined La Masia, the Barcelona Youth Academy, at age 11. Xavi's progression through the teams earned him a first team appearance in a Copa Catalunya match against Lleida in May 1998, and he scored his first goal in the 1998 Supercopa de España against Mallorca. His debut in La Liga came against Valencia in October 1998 in a 3-1 victory for Barcelona. Initially featuring intermittently for both the reserve and senior teams, Xavi scored the only goal in a 1-0 victory over Real Valladolid when Barcelona was in 10th place in the league. Sustained impressive performances meant that he became a key member of Louis van Gaal's title-winning team, finishing his debut season with 26 matches played and being named 1999 La Liga Breakthrough Player of the Year. Xavi became Barcelona's principal playmaker after an injury to Pep Guardiola in the 1999-2000 season. In the following years, Barcelona was on the verge of bankruptcy and struggling to keep its place in La Liga's elite. Playing in midfield but in a more defensive role, Xavi made 20 assists and scored 7 goals in the following two seasons. Just go down because you brought down. Well, wait a minute, pass on the attack again. Leo Messi, Leo Messi! Oh! 
In March 2002, he scored his first goal in El Clasico against Real Madrid. He was named the vice-captain for the 2004-05 season, in which he helped Barcelona win La Liga and the 2004 Supercopa de España. In the 2005-06 season, Xavi tore the ligaments in his left knee during training. He was out of action for four months, but returned in April and sat on the bench for Barcelona's win in the 2006 Champions League final against Arsenal. Barcelona are European champions for the first time in 14 years. Xavi helped Barcelona win the 2009 Champions League final 2-0 against Manchester United, assisting the second goal by crossing to Messi for his header. And Xavi onto the head of Messi! That should do it for the Blaugrana. Xavi was voted UEFA Champions League best midfielder for his contribution during Barcelona's victorious 2008-09 Champions League campaign. He was the highest assisting player in La Liga with 20 and in the Champions League with 7. He earned 29 assists overall that season. On the 2nd of January 2011, in a league match against Levante, Xavi made his 549th appearance for the club in all competitions, which matched the record held by Miguel Lee. He later, unsurprisingly, became the player with the most matches for Barcelona of all time. In 2015, he left Barcelona after 17 seasons with the senior squad, as he announced that he would join the Qatari club Al Sadd at the end of the 2014-15 season on a three-year contract. With Spain, he won the FIFA World Youth Championship in 1999 and the silver medal at the 2000 Olympics. After making his debut in the senior team in 2000, he played in 133 matches for his country and was an influential figure in the team's success. He played an important role in Spain's victory in the 2010 FIFA World Cup, as well as their victories at UEFA Euro 2008 and Euro 2012. For the second time in a row, and this golden generation has yet another trophy. Xavi was named the player of the tournament at Euro 2008 and was named in the UEFA Euro team of the tournament 2008 and 2012. With two assists in the 2012 final, Xavi became the first player to register assists in two separate European finals after setting up the only goal in the final four years earlier. After the 2014 FIFA World Cup, Xavi announced that he was retiring from international football. In November 2021, he returned to Barcelona as the new head coach to replace Ronald Koeman on a contract until June 2024. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, press the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos.